Clarissa? Clarissa, darling? You know that new vacuum cleaner I bought you? Why aren't you using it? I can't live with this mess. I'll do it myself. This thing is huge. No wonder it was so expensive. No! The Lego piece! Oh, hi Clarissa. Thank goodness for that. What you've just watched is the first short brick film I've made for about a year. I know it wasn't the best, but I just wanted to do something to get back into brick filming. And in a minute I'm going to show you a little bit behind the scenes, because it's my first animation I've made using Dragonframe. I've been thinking about getting Dragonframe for ages because it's probably the best software you can get for shooting brick films. And I was planning to buy it using the money I've been getting from my Patreon, thanks to Foxbricker Studios, Geiger Bricks, 2x3 Studios and Raigai Gaming. But then I mentioned this in an email to Foxbricker Studios, who has been supporting me on Patreon for ages, and he said he had Dragonframe and wasn't using it, so he just gave it to me. So not only has Foxbricker Studios supported me on Patreon for about three years, he's also just gifted me this incredible piece of software. So guys, please, please go check out his channel and please subscribe to him, and please post a comment on one of his videos saying, you're a legend, because Foxbricker is a total legend and he deserves to have more subscribers and more views on his amazing videos. So do use the link in the video description and pinned comment to head over to Foxbricker Studios' channel and hit the subscribe button. Now I want to show you a quick look behind the scenes on this video. I used this living room set that I built for a previous animation and just distributed some rubbish across the floor. I had three lights, one LED panel to light up the outside of the room, and then two LED lamps above the room itself. The walls of this room are easily detachable to allow me to shoot from any angle without having to do any serious dismantling, and for the most part I just took off the front wall as that gave me all the angles I needed. Making this video I just really learned the basics of Dragonframe, how to control the exposure, depth of field and focus of my camera using the software, how to use the onion skinning feature and basic functions like deleting frames and getting the right settings for rendering the video. I thought that once I had Dragonframe I would see an instant improvement in my animations, but there were so many things that I wasn't happy with even in this really short video. Bad and inconsistent lighting, a lack of smoothness in a lot of the animation, some bad transitions between shots and badly chosen camera angles, and just things that weren't very well animated. But on the other hand, I did see the potential of Dragonframe to start helping me improve, especially once I get some practice with it. And the whole point of this video for me was just to make a brick film again for the first time in about a year and to get started using Dragonframe. So I've done what I set out to do. If you've watched this far into this video, then thank you so much. And don't forget to go subscribe to Fox Bricker Studios. Also, special thanks to Raigai Gaming, who is still supporting me on Patreon. As usual, I'll reply to all the comments that are posted within the first hour. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Leave me a comment and I'll see you next time.